What is the capacity of human memory in gigabytes? How many memories our brain cells can store depends on our brain storage capacity. The human mind does have a memory limit. The average adult human brain's memory capacity is 2.5 million gigabytes. However, it doesn't run out of storage capacity. A single human brain has many different kinds of memories, and there's no physical limit to the number of memories we can store. That's because new memories keep on replacing the old ones. That happens because new neural connections are formed from lifelong learning. Hi, I'm Davis, and in this episode of Midnight Wondering Channel, we will talk about what is the capacity of human memory in gigabytes. How much information can the brain hold? The amount of information the brain can hold is a complex answer as it depends on various factors. These include the type of information, the individual's memory capacity, and how the information is stored and processed. The brain stores information in a complex network of neurons and synapses. Different types of information are stored in different regions of the brain. Visual and auditory information are stored in the sensory cortex. Memories and learned information are stored in the hippocampus. A human brain's capacity depends on several factors, including the individual's age, education, and overall health. Some people have exceptional memories. This phenomenon is called photographic or eidetic memories. These people can recall more information than the average person. How information is encoded and stored in the brain also affects its capacity. Encoding information in an organized way can increase the amount of information that can be retrieved. This especially helps with long-term memories. Is there a memory limit to our brains? The brain does have limits to its memory capacity. However, the brain does not run out of memory as a computer can run out of storage space. The neurons determine the memory capacity of the brain. The brain has an estimated 100 billion neurons. Each of them can have thousands of connections to other neurons. However, there's still a limited number of neurons and synapses in the human brain. They can store trillions of bytes of information, just like a hard drive. But these neurons can become saturated with information over time. The brain can compensate for this by forming new connections. It also prunes and used connections and reorganizes information to allow for efficient retrieval. It is also important to note that various factors influence the brain's memory capacity. These also include certain neurological conditions. For example, conditions like Alzheimer's disease can affect the brain's ability to recall information. This can lead to memory loss. What is the average memory capacity of a human brain? Scientists estimate that the average adult human brain can store 2.5 million petabytes of information. Researchers have calculated this number based on the connections formed by different neurons. These connections are called synapses. Our brain cells are called neurons, and there are over 100 billion neurons that form our nervous system. Each neuron can form thousands of connections. This drives short-term memory and long-term memory. Using this information, we can estimate the digital memory of our brains. This is equivalent to 2.5 petabytes. A single byte contains 8 bits of information, and the human brain can store up to 2.5 quadrillion bytes over the course of life. It is equivalent to a million gigabytes. This is the information that we store in a lifetime. So, it accumulates as we gain new experiences. Stanford researchers estimate that there are over 125 trillion synapses in our brains, and our brains can transfer information efficiently over them. How does the memory capacity of a human brain work? The strength of our neurons determines the information storage of the human brain. Thus, the size of the synapses in our cerebral cortex determines our memory capacity. The human brain sends out and receives signals throughout the body. These signals control different processes in our bodies. Many of the signals that the brain receives are stimuli. The brain processes these signals to understand the different experiences of our body, and these experiences are engraved in our memory by the brain. That's what forms new memories. This process involves the encoding, storage, and retrieval of information. So this is how I answered today's question. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Thank you all.